Hi, how you going? This is Ju Sensei, all the way over here in Japan, and I'm making this video today um, to show you how to set up a download page. Say you've got a squeeze page or even a sales page where you're selling something, but you want to make a download page so your customers or your subscribers can download your product. Uh, it could be, say, a PDF report or um, a zip file that has products zipped inside it. Um, but anyway, let's get on with it. For this demonstration, I'm going to use the squeeze page template uh, that was included with the uh, easy traffic video course that I uh, recently released with PLR. So if you pick that up, um, you'll also get um, the private label rights to that, which includes this uh, squeeze page template and of course a free report. Um, that you can rebrand um, and give away to build a uh, list of subscribers and then upsell the uh, video course to them. But uh, anyway, we're here in the folder for the uh, video squeeze page. This is what you'll see when you download and unzip um, the file that contains the squeeze page template. So you'll see um, there's a, a mock free report here. Uh, there's, you don't have to give this one away. Um, this, it's uh, unbranded though if you want to. The uh, source the source for this um, PDF is actually in another folder. So, But for this example we'll just use this one. It's already a PDF file. Um, okay, now next we've got the index. That's going to be the squeeze page that actually comes up when you go to the uh, directory that you, ins that you upload the squeeze page into. Um, don't, you've got an, al an alternative index page and the thank you page, this one that says thanks. Um, you've also got the folder with images and the script to play the video and the actual video file itself. So the next step is, just to make it easy, is um, go to your FTP uh, client uh, software. I've already got mine open and I've already uploaded um, the squeeze page files, the ones here on my PC which is seen on the left up into my website um, over at turnkeycashkits.com and in a directory that I created called Easy Traffic. So all these the same files I've just uploaded over here and they are now live on the uh, on the internet. Okay, so now we're over at uh, turnkeycashkids.com forward slash easy traffic uh, where we uploaded the squeeze page um, templates to. And at the um, at the very root of this folder, we get the index page showing up, which is the squeeze page. And remember, we uploaded also the thanks.html page. Uh, that is the thank you page. So let's let's have a look at that page. And you'll see here you've got the uh, download link. Now, um, by default, it's if you look at the uh, the uh, the bar down the bottom you'll see it coming up with um, freereport.pdf. That's what it is by default and that's what the PDF is named. The PDF file is named by default when you upload it. Um, if you go ahead and you know brand the report um, and make it, make it into a PDF, you can use the same file name freereport.pdf or if you wanted to make it a different name, something a bit harder to guess. Maybe it could be like Easy Traffic Free Report or Free Report um, and Your Name on the end .pdf. Uh, that's fine too. But that means you're going to have to change. You're going to have to change the download link to the PDF in the HTML on this download page. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Um, by default you will be able to download the uh, the default PDF by clicking on that. But um, okay, let's say uh, we want to change 
PDF name to let's say um, easy traffic. Oh, let's not have a space. Let's say we wanted to easy traffic free report PDF. Okay. Now if we go and um, back into the squeeze page files um, that are on our computer, uh, we will have to go and edit the thank you page and change that uh, hyperlink. So if we go and open this um, thank you page in a HTM editor, which I'm using Composer, I usually use Composer for these kinds of um, website templates. This is the download link here by default. So if we highlight that and then go up um, to the link button up here, we will see here that's the default hyperlink. Uh, I mean that's the default pass to the PDF. So remember we changed it. It is now easy traffic free report. So if we go and get that um, file name from there, then we can just go and put it exactly the same. Um, you want to probably open it, have it open up in a new window, so it's all good to go. Press OK. That link has been changed. We want to save it. Make sure we save it. And then go back to our FTP uh, software. Um, remember the files, squeeze page files on our computer are on the left, so we want to refresh this so we can get the latest version, that version we just saved um, showing up. So that was the thanks page and we're going to upload it again to the same directory there. Okay, so upload and this is at the web browser. Uh, we'll see that you know the the previous version of the thank you page had the free report the PDF in the link. If we go and refresh the download page, all right, I am back. There was a little bit of a hiccup there. Um, I told you <laughs> I was using Composer. Um, it um, erased some important HTML. So um, if you bought the Easy Traffic videos and want to edit the HTML pages, um, I recommend that you don't use Composer to edit them. But um, if you use, say, uh, Edit Plus, which I also have, that will be fine. Um, but anyway, I've gone ahead and fixed it um, and uploaded the download page again. And this time, um, I've refreshed the download page in my browser, so it's getting the latest version. And if we highlight or mouse over on the download link, you'll see in the bottom left hand corner there um, the, f the path to the PDF file is that one that we inserted easy traffic free report PDF. Okay, so that now if we click on the button it'll open up in a new window and it will show the PDF. Just like that. There we go. So that download link is working. Now, um, there's one more thing I want to show you, and that is putting your uh, products, say you've got a whole bunch of products, um, not just one PDF, but say, you know, half a dozen. Um, say you don't want them in the same folder, in the same directory as the uh, actual squeeze pages itself there is a chance that those excuse me that those uh, products can get indexed in Google so people can basically search for your products and download them without opting in or even buying them if you if you're selling them so the way to get around that is to make a, a new directory inside this directory and we can call this anything downloads one two three or something but make it something hard to guess. Alright, so we create that and then we can put um, 
we can put the f downloads, the actual products that people are going to download inside there. And where is it? Easy traffic, free PDF. Here we go. Um, what we'll do is we'll download the easy traffic free PDF file over to our computer and then re-upload it back into the downloads123 folder. So let's open the downloads123 folder and upload that again. Usually uh, you can just um, drag and drop inside your FTP software but for some reason it didn't let me do it while I was recording this video. So the PDF is uploaded into this other folder. So now the path to the actual PDF has changed on our website. That is our new path to the PDF in that folder. Okay, so this is what we're going to have to use to edit the download page again because remember the link on the download page is easy traffic for slash easy traffic free report PDF. We need to fix that path so it uh, points to this path of the actual PDF. Okay, so I hope you're following with me. It's kind of technical, but um, stick with it. Stick with me <laughs> and you'll get it. So um, what we, we actually really need to do is we need to add the directory name Let's move this up so you can see. We need to add this downloads123 forward slash. We need to add that into the HTML hyperlink for the PDF. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, open the thank you page in edit plus which I have so there's no mistakes. So you'll see here this is the download link to the report. Okay, and the link as it is is just going there because uh, that is the f file name for the PDF and because the PDF existed in the same directory as the download page, this is just the, t the path to the PDF file. But now it's in a different folder uh, which was that one I just copied and now I'll paste it in. Okay, now we have downloads123 forward slash easy traffic free report PDF. So it's the same for like images, right? You've got all your images in the images folder. The path for your images has to be images forward slash free report. Okay, so now it's okay, we'll save it. Let's upload it again into the uh, the directory where it was before. Upload, now go back to our uh, web browser. Same uh, thank you page, let's refresh. And now if we go have a look at the download link for the report, we'll see at the bottom left there, easy traffic forward slash downloads one, two, three forward slash easy traffic free report PDF. Open that up and there we have the free report. That's it. So you can do that with any of the files that you want people to download. Uh, if it's a PDF or if it's um, a zip file you can link to it like that. I'm sorry if it was a little bit uh, technical and complicated but um, that's kind of how you do it. You've but um, once you learn, it's just like uh, second nature. You don't even have to think about it. Sometimes things go wrong, and when things go wrong, you just um, go go through and see what's wrong. Go check, you know, the path of the link, and then the, go check the location of the file on your server. But um, I hope this video helped you a little bit. So um, good luck with creating your download pages. This was Stuart Sterling. For more good tips and uh, useful internet marketing lessons, go visit stuartsterling.com. Thanks for watching and see you next time.